I believe uh, the budget recently announced by the finance minister is encouraging from affordable homes point of view. Customers will get the benefit of affordable homes built by developers because developers will be getting tax benefit. There is an extension of time uh, to register those projects by one year. So that will encourage affordable homes. Simultaneously, the government mentioned about uh, data center parks and warehousing, which is two other segments in real estate that the government has focused on, which I think is a good news. Whether this budget has really addressed the issues of the real estate sector on the whole, the answer is no, uh, a thumping disappointment uh, to say the least. And that's largely because we all know that the developers are suffering with the overhang uh, inventory, unsold inventory of about 30 to 40 months, uh, as a result of which they're not able to service their loans. They're not able to retire the debt of NBFCs and banks, and that has severely uh, impacted cash flows. On the other side, uh, because of slowdown of demand, uh, they're not able to sell uh, the upcoming inventory. So really they're caught between the two, uh, the ones they already built and the one that they're building. So from that point of view, uh, the sector was expecting uh, RBI to come out with a one-time rollover, uh, which has not happened. And there were, would have been some uh, encouraging uh, you know, indication from the government if uh, that was to be considered, but that has not happened. <clears throat> On the other side, Alternate ways of encouraging liquidity in the sector, whether through private equity route, whether change of FDI norms, and therefore allowing private equity to buy ready to move in inventory, uh, that could have been one window of opportunity that we have clearly not seen, it's been missed. Or whether making banks and NBFCs lend more money uh, to the developers and therefore at least fund those profitable, sound real estate projects which can still service the loan as well as complete uh, the projects on time. The government did take some time ago, uh, a set up a distress fund uh, under alternate investment fund and that was a welcome uh, uh, scheme. It's only limited to 20,000 crores, uh, but a lot of that money is still stuck. It's not moved into the hands of the developers, but it's a, it's a good scheme. So maybe the government could have taken this opportunity to extend that 20,000 crores to 40 or 50,000 crores, that again did not happen. <clears throat> if I was to sum up, uh, if everything uh, was to basically just boil down to one aspect that would make a world of difference to our economy and the research sector, and that's just one single factor is job confidence and job creation. If the government had taken transformational reforms to do so, that would have addressed all kind of issues, but that clearly considering the contours of this budget does not reflect uh, sufficiently and adequately this side uh, of the GDP. <clears throat> One is only hoping that simplification of tax, some uh, few uh, money in the hands of the lower income strata will trigger sentiment and revive growth. I doubt it. I think it requires much more than just that. Uh, but I'm hoping that the government's continued initiative and focus in the times to come and after the feedback from the industry, they would actually have another look at it and come back with more reforms going forward.